Hello, everyone. Pastor Helen. And Russell. Coming to you live this afternoon. It's unusual what we're doing today. We've had a yard sale yesterday and today, and we're all tired. And this is my beautiful granddaughter, Kira. Hi. I just wanted you to know that we are real people that have real family. And some of you are going through some hard times. I know that. We've experienced things this year also. So we want to just come on live and remind you of one thing, that Jesus loves you and he has a plan for you that's good. And I would just hope that you seek him more than you've ever sought him. Because they that are diligently seekers of the Lord are rewarded. It tells us that in Hebrews. Not just a casual thing, but a, a diligent seeking of the Lord. So that's what I want to come on. Russell, what would you like to share? That's good. The Word tells us that when we delight ourselves in the Lord, that we get all these blessings. He, he supplies everything for he us. He gives us the desires of our the heart. The desires of our heart. Yeah. When we take our delight in Him instead of in things of the world. Yes. Kira, do you have anything to say today? Did you enjoy helping with the yard sale? Yeah, I did. <laughs> what a hard worker she is. And I'm telling you, I want to say this about young people. This young lady is such a hard worker in her job where she works. She never complains about it. She goes to school. She helps her mother. They have some serious physical issues. And I just want you to know how proud I am of you, Kira. And I'm saying this where the whole world hears it. Thank you. Because you're just an example to so many young people. And you know, there's, hi, Lori Lynn and Anne. We're glad you're on with us today. And, and Tina. Mm -hmm. We just, you know, young people are good. They're looking for answers. And those of us that know the Lord can give those answers to them and share the love of God with them. And don't beat them up. Maybe they have a nose ring like Kira, but that doesn't matter. That's not who she is. The real Kira is the person on the inside. Somebody may have a tattoo. Somebody may have orange hair. Don't look at the outside. God looks at the heart. I'm reminded when Samuel went looking for the new king at Jesse's house, he'd been in grief over Saul because Saul didn't do what God told him to do, and he lost the anointing. When he went to the house, he was looking for the tallest person, the oldest person. And that one came, and it wasn't the one. The Lord said, no, it's not him. And the reason he couldn't see the right one is he was stuck in the past. He was still mourning after Saul. And God had to say, no, it's not him. There were like ten brothers. It was a big family. And finally he said, well, isn't there anyone else? Well, there's one out there that's taking care of the sheep, the youngest. See, they didn't expect the youngest to be the one. I'm the youngest in my family. Kira's the youngest in her family. Russell's the oldest. But see, they didn't expect it that way. They expected to be the best looking or the tallest, and that's not God. God looks at the heart. Yes, he does. He wants us to know it's not who you are, it's what you are in him. And David was the one that God picked because he was a man after God's own heart. We can do all kinds of things in the world, but if you're not after God in his own heart, it means nothing when we leave here. So don't look at who you are, whether you're fat or thin or old or young or blue or green or red. I'm telling you right now, God can work through you because he loves each one of us, and he wants you to know how much he loves you today. So don't give up. Maybe you're going through some refining, because I tell you what, in order to do what we did for a yard sale, I had to clean out the garage. And some of us have some things in our life we need to get rid of. <laughs> yeah. Get rid of them so that you can have a start, a new fresh start. So that's what we wanted to share today. We're not going to stay on long. We're all tired from what we did. But God blessed us, and we had a chance to share the love of the Lord with a lot of different people. So have a great day. We will be back for <clears throat> on Monday with Equipping the Saints. But if you don't have a home church, join us online on Sunday at 1 o'clock. We come on Sunday well, at 10 o'clock. Sunday at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock Eastern. Live. So join us because God's got a plan. And, and I know it's good, good for you. you. Have a great day, everybody.
Bye-bye. Be blessed.